Hey everyone, in this week's tutorial I'm again going to be comparing the VRT software to a real life robot and this time I'm going to be demonstrating gear ratios in the VRT software. Alright, so here we'll see I'm back in the VRT software again and just like last week when we looked at line followers in order to compare and contrast programming in real life versus with a simulated robot Today I want to look at the mechanical bits on robots inside virtual simulators to show their similarity to how they would operate in real life. So I'm going to start up the simulator. I have loaded right now the treasure hunt environment and this is a sample robot that they provide. So right here on the front we see this claw assembly. There's a vertical mounted media motor here and it looks like there's a 90 degree gear ratio here where we have a 12 tooth conical gear driving a 20 tooth bevel gear with an axle that runs horizontal and there are two pairs of knob wheels that are directly connected to the fingers of the claws and so I can operate this claw using the keys on the keyboard and we see that true to how it would operate in real life the simulation does an excellent job of operating this claw with the gear reduction and everything because remember I said it's a 12 tooth gear driving a 20 tooth gear so it's going to be nicely reduced and the gear train works great, it's nice and smooth, and the claw opens and closes. Um, there's also a vertical component to this, which is a, a large motor, but there aren't as many gears going into that. But you can see just how nicely this, this gear train operates here. And that's a, a sure sign that indicates that this software does a very nice job of replicating real life with even complex mechanical parts. So let's just try some more. Even on motor stall, you notice, as I did that, it calculates the momentum of the moving claw. So when the motor stalls, you see the robot shakes. So even, even the finest details are accounted for in this software. When, when I stall the motor, the whole robot will quiver or shake a little bit. And that's something that even happens in real life. Because the momentum of the motor wants to keep moving, but it can't. So it's going to uh, continue its motion in making the robot shake. So that's just a great attention to detail in terms of this software and very good modeling of a real life scenario. So the bottom line here is the mechanisms are very accurate. So let's look at a second example and this time I have the WRO mountaineering environment open and we're again looking at the sample robot that they give us. Here we have a media motor routing its power through a long shaft down to a worm gear mechanism here and again I can control the mechanism with the keys and we'll see that the software does a really nice job of modeling the reduction of the worm gear so as we see there's a lot of torque on this worm gear and the claw moves very slowly and well of course I wouldn't come to expect anything less from the software but I'm just pointing out how well it does um, at modeling these mechanical situations here and even on motor stall again you see the arm starts to flex as it tries to resist stoppage from an external source. Now another mechanical aspect that we can look at is the caster wheel. Now if you watch I have a caster wheel on the back of my robot here and you can see that the simulation software does a very nice job of uh, modeling the motion of the caster wheel. Now of course a caster wheel having a rubber wheel is going to have that rubber wheel uh, move to the back of wherever the robot is headed. So if I'm headed forward, the caster wheel is going to point back. If I'm headed in reverse, the caster wheel will reverse direction so that the rubber part of the wheel is always trailing. And the Cognition software does a very fine job of uh, modeling this behavior. Another thing is, this is not something that you'd be able to tell just by watching the video, but if you are in control of the robot, you'll see that the robot itself um, has the simulation software does a very fine job of mimicking the actual weight of the robot so it feels like the robot um, is, is real and has actual weight to it and like I said the simulation software does a great job with this the virtual robotics toolkit or VRT is a computer simulation software made by a company called Cognation Robotics that allows you to build and program your very own robot and go through all of the steps of prototyping a robot without ever needing a physical one. If you would like to learn more about this software, please click the link and go to my website and I'll have a full written description of the software and a link on where you could purchase the software as well as get a discount.
Thanks for watching my tutorial this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.